Hello guys, bringing you this wall pressure guide for people that um, ask for this. So yeah, this is a wall pressure guide. I think most people have their own way of wall pressuring and you know, my way is not the best way. It's just another way that, you know, might help you out if you, um, you know, try it out. It might help you out, it might not. Okay, um, with wall pressure, you, think you got your opponent's back to the wall. Standing one makes a great wall pressure because this leaves you in plus one frame. So a lot of times, you know, just do a standing one first maybe, you know, and uh, sidestep, right? Standing one, sidestep, standing one, sidestep. These are just options. Standing one into a uh, frame trap. After you do standing one, you're in plus one frame. So the kind of frame traps you get off of this, you can go into two, three. So let's say like this. Standing one, two, three. Meaning that after you hit them on block, we're talking about block. So let's say your opponent stand guards. And I don't know, just stand guard. My point is, if they block your first hit, right, with the standing one you're still on, you're still on plus, standing from your standing one. So just the single standing one, though. So from here, you can frame trap by doing 2 3 back. Depending on which character you're fighting, I wouldn't recommend 2 3 back against characters like Paul, but 2 3 back is good. Um. There's a lot of characters I don't really recommend 2-3 back, but my point is 2-3 three, two, two, three back is a good move for after you do standing 1 because if they duck, you're going to get them, right? Um, of course, you can also frame trap with 2-4 because 2-4 will wall splat them. Let's just pretend that they will try to hit you right after this. So let's say they guard and then bang. Well, yeah, it kind of sucks, but let's just pretend like after you hit them, they guard, and then you get the wall splat, right? If you do this and then you do that, it's a frame trap for people that are trying to poke you back. So this is a good way to um, get a wall splat. This is actually a frame trap. So yeah, that's one way to do it, uh, and it also keeps you in safe. I believe this is safe. I think so. So yeah, that's one way to pressure your opponent at the wall. Um, other good pressure moves at the wall, in my opinion, is um, you can do like down 4-4. Four, four. Okay, this is, um, let's put it this way. I think the best way to start your pressure is you have to start your pressure with like safe move like standing 1 and down 4-1. These are probably your two best tools to start your pressure with. So you can do like standing one like I said and then sidestep or like go into some frame trap right right afterwards or you can go into this same thing with this even down four one gives you a minus one frame right even though you're at minus a lot of times people might not just throw out pokes so one way to keep your pressure up with this is you can also sidestep obviously and then uh, or you can also try doing some stupid stuff like this this wouldn't work because it's um it's not a frame trap but if you catch your opponent doing something different then you still catch him right but a lot of times of course you just want to throw this one time out and start doing moves start doing your options right so for example same thing with this you want to throw this out and start doing your options so your options are like sidestep or like another quick move um from sidestep options you can go into like side step three. Either way, you know, side step three, or uh, like I said, throw throw something crazy out. You know, you can't even go for um. You can't even go for down f after you poke them like this. You can't even go for down four one. I uh, down four four. I meant. And then once you get into down four four, you're like big time plus, right? So you can depending on what skill level your opponent is, you can just frame trap them. You know, just frame trap them, get some wall splat. You After you hit them with this, if your opponent's not a very high skill level, you're probably very likely to get them with a frame trap. 
if they are pretty high skill level they'll probably try to sidestep out of it or block or crouch to guard so back four will probably be your best option depending on what they do you could just do this multiple times too just to test the water and see what they want to do a lot of times this throws them off axis so their down poke will probably uh, whiff so yeah so you can actually multiple poke like this unless they throw out like while rising four sometime while rising four will whiff I've seen a whiff before so yeah but um these are like your basic wall pressure right like standing one down four, four uh, one uh, just to get them in check so that you keep them guarding that's what I'm saying you know and if they stay up guarding your low poke your down four is your go-to even though it's launch punishable this is just your go-to you have to do it you could do sidestep two two uh, yeah you could do sidestep two two like I said if you did this and you if you want to go for the low option of course you don't get the you don't get the top tier character stuff you know you don't get a counter hit on launch and you don't get a launch on counter hit but you know I mean that's a downgrade from Tekken Tag 2 but but you do get a low option that does leave you on par so you do get um, zero frame so you're back on par so if you can do some mix up from there I wouldn't recommend doing too much because you probably only have like a sidestep 3 option that's probably your best I mean a while rising 3 option that's probably your best move from here or like a uh, down crouch 1 that's pretty much all you got so um that would be your low mix low mid high uh, low mid uh, mix up after you hit them with the sidestep 2 of course you can also do like this like I said if you do, if you do go for the sidestep 3 option for the pressure if you do go for the sidestep 3 pressure you are at plus 4 so you can frame trap them you can frame trap them with down 4 1 2 at the wall or you can frame trap them with down 4 4 4 which will um will well actually you if they do down one poke they will uh, double hit you meaning you both will hit each other so you wouldn't get much off of it but if they try throwing something else like for example because it leaves them in crouch it leaves them in crouch if they try to throw one they would do a while rising one if they try to do four they would do while rising four if they try to do down four they will get caught the only thing they can do is to do down one to uh, tie to like double hit you after you do this move and then go for this so if they don't do down for one and you do do this and you brain trap them for that you will get them 100% of the time unless they sidestep or something else right but if they do um, try to attack you with any other move other than down for one from this you will get them in a launch and you will get them in a wall splat like that so you can just go like that but I still wouldn't recommend it I mean it probably is good for like people that don't know the move but like if for people that knows I would prefer just doing down 4-1-2 because it keeps you in safe that's my only reason for it it keeps you in safe okay and then um other wall pressure moves that I do uh, a lot of times I would like sidestep I would down 4-1 it gives me it leaves me at minus one but I will sidestep just to kind of keep them at the wall you know kind of sidestep so they kind of see what you're doing and then go for down for one plus two down for one plus two put you at plus one frame so basically you're like the same like when you push them with this so when you're at this there's a lot of option that you can do the same thing like when you hit them with standing one right obviously you have the option for magic four from from ev from these moves you also have option for magic four because it's still safe um a lot of times i would just like go into this and then go into this if you guys see me play i do this all the time because um if people try to poke you right and you go into this obviously you are at plus seven right and you hit them and you're at plus seven and you're in in stance obviously if you go like i said uh before if you just do two four if you just do two four you will get the wall splat so it doesn't matter right you, you get a wall splat you get way more damage what I'm saying is you know if, if you pressure with that and you get the 2-4 just a standard combo you're looking at like 62 damage but if you do go into this option you get 24 and you get a mix up and then the mix up if you go low you will get that and you still only get 50 damage 
26 plus 24 is only 60 damage. So yeah, it's really up to you what kind of option you want. But after this and this, you're literally at plus plus seven to another plus seven. So you're like literally mixing up over and over and over again. So after you hit them with this one, you're probably gonna go for down for one two or for four two, depending on what you want to do. Four two might get you hit because of lag issue and whatnot. I don't know the frame on this, but even after plus seven, you try and go into four four two. A lot of time people can poke you out of it even though you know on paper they shouldn't be able to <coughs> so yeah but if you do do this then you get another pressure move so yeah um, so from there you know you get plus seven like I said you can start everything off from like standing one down four one two going into this stuff like that it's all wall pressure right so it's just crazy wall pressure so this is a very good wall pressure I use this a lot at the wall just because um, one thing is it's a mid and if people duck if you hit them you're plus five so if you hit them with this you're plus five just try going for this a lot of times I do this because if you hit them with this this is a frame trap now because they have no move that can beat out this because this is plus five into this is 14 so your move is the nine out so if you hit them with this you get a good shot at that but if they see you doing it and they block it then you're launch punishable so yeah a, most of her moves are all launch punishable so it doesn't matter at this point you're gonna risk anyways so like even if you did this and you go for low you're still launch punishable so you, it's very up to you to do your options you know you can just go like this or you can just go this one too maybe if you hit them this is the better option yeah don't 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 do this because they're both 14 frames so do this a lot of times I, I like going for this just because I guess it's fancy I don't know but you actually get less damage anyway so go for this if you hit if you hit them I'm talking about if you do hit them go for this the only time the, there's the, this is the reason why if you hit them like that this will whiff if you hit them on counter hit this will whiff oh sometimes it get them yeah but most times it will whiff so that's why you go for this one it won't whiff so you can combo it yeah but that's why I do it but um if you just hit them regular go for that because it's a frame trap and um, of course they could duck the last hit if they guard the first hit if they don't guard the first hit it's a guarantee so it's like that so that's the kind of wall pressure. This move is really good to use at the wall because it's a mid, right? Mid high, but it's good because it's a guaranteed hit. Um, other wall pressure, basically for 4-2. Four 4-2 two. For four two is a good wall pressure. Um, if they stay guarded, they could sidestep out of this. But, like I keep telling you, if, the, um, if you get them with this, I believe this is like plus 6. Plus six, so if you go for this, this is a frame trap now, right? This is basically your only. Anna doesn't have a good mid mid option. I talk about this all the time. She never has a good mid mid option. She never will get a mid, good mid mid option. The developer hates her, so she's not ever gonna get it. And um, my point is, since she doesn't have a mid mid option, Wasplat like Dragnoff or all these other amazing characters like Fang and whatnot. So my point is, use this. <laughs> Use this mid-high option, even though it's not the best. This is what you got, right? So if you if you hit them with this, yeah, this is great. But normally, if you want to just keep them standing, just go for this stuff. You can even go for you can even go for two three back. I love two three back. I mean, I don't think people likes it as much as me, but I treat this as like my mid mid option. Like I said, she doesn't have a mid mid option, but literally for me, this is like her mid mid option. So yeah, so if you don't want to get a wall splat and you just want to keep them pressure at the wall, you want them to be standing up, you don't want the damage, you just want to keep the pressure, just go something like 2-3 back, you know, stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend um, this move. These stuff is okay, but 10 damage for garbage um, frame is not good. I'll always keep the frame advantage. So every time you do something at the wall, just remember when you're pressuring your opponent, you always want to be in plus frame. Meaning that you always want to 
have the edge on throwing out like pokes. So, like I said, if you hit them with this, you're at plus seven, so you can go into crazy stuff like another two, three, do something like that. But yeah, uh, stuff on guard though. Your your best options from on guard are for four, two, side step three. These are your moves that you could use to start up more um, mix up because uh, this stuff is the stuff that you're you're hoping for you to not get hit after you hit them with it right so if you do down 4 1 plus 2 you got options to go down or up high crush I mean not high crush yeah, yeah high, cr high crush or um, just a fast move like this because if you do do like this you beat them with their high crush move I'm pretty sure this will be most high crush move of course it wouldn't be AOP guys so um, if you're playing against lane Xiao Yu, you you should do something different like if you do this against lane you probably go for 4-3 because lane will AOP and for 4-3 will break will beat out um, uh, AOP but um, down one will actually whiff on AOP so yeah so depending on the character you fight you have to fight differently but as far as wall pressure goes a lot of like um, a lot of uh, plus frame move on block is your go-to and um, plus frame on um, low hits so like this one and then wall splat moves also a good one so this is also a wall splat but it's a high high as you can see so I wouldn't recommend it that much but if you do go for this and let's say if you do go for this and try to go for this they'll probably just duck the whole strain so that's why at this point you should just go for something like that okay <clears throat> so I've gone through a few of those and then uh, probably the best in my opinion the best wall pressure move you're gonna get in the entire Ana move set is just going to down four one back down four one back down four one back into of course just frame guard break and just frame guard break is hard to do but from this you can just smash and you'll get it so from here on hit you only get plus 5. I believe you only get plus 5 on hit. No, 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 you don't. You get plus 9 on hit. I remember this. I, you get plus 9 on hit. I'll show it to you guys. So you get plus 9 on hit. And you get plus... I believe plus 6 on guard. So let's test this out. But this is by far her best, um, her best uh, setup for the wall pressure. Just go down for one into this, right? So I'll show you an example of me doing. Man, I, I don't really know what kind of move she got that's really slow, but um, oh yeah, this move right here is like 19 frames, right? So my point is, if you go from this and you do hit him. It's pretty crazy. Watch this. Um, I'm just gonna duck the whole way. So, uh, and then I'm gonna try to intercept her hit, which is a 19 hit, right? With my down 4 1. No, I'm gonna go with the uh, down 4. So that's a 12 frame. And I'm probably still gonna get hit. Watch. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, see? My down 4. Is like 12 frame and that 4 4 I believe is like 19 frame so even at 7 frame like you just get beat but the point is if you do hit them with this not that but if you do hit them with um, this at the wall you get like a plus 6 frame you can do everything you want to do from this move the same thing you can do everything but the only difference is it's a mid you 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 get this for a mid so the point is you get this but like in a mid version of this so yeah I mean if you guys don't think that's good then uh, I don't know what else is good because that's her best um, mid move mid with uh, mid mid pressure move so if most people think that they can low poke you after this from guard break 
like from um, CGM, they can't low poke you anymore. So at that point, you can just go for down four, three, four. Like I showed you example before. And they're pretty much dead. So my point is, let me just show it to you. So if you got this on block, bang, right? And watch, I'm gonna smash down one, right? After I get blocked. See? Smash down one and I'm just like, got hit. See, I can't even do anything now, right? But you could still sidestep. Just don't forget that. You can still sidestep. You're not... Your opponent's not dead. They can still sidestep. See? Of course, you can go into options like this. I don't know if this will be a little bit better for tracking. It might be. Oh, I was supposed to sidestep. Yeah, it probably tracks just a little bit better. Yeah, it tracks really well. So you will get, if you go into that, you will get the size flat. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, this is amazing. Uh, and and the truth is, guys, if you do mess this up, if you do mess this one up, you get the you get the chain throw anyways, right? So if you go into this stance, it, but of course I have you have to understand this move has to hit. If they guard the down four one you don't get the kind of plus you do because if they don't guard it you're at plus one but if they do guard it you are like at minus I don't know you're probably like a minus nine yeah I know minus ten I remember you're you're at minus ten if they block this so the point is they can uh, actually they can actually poke you low poke you yeah see but they can't they can't low they can't do down four though. You see? Or they can't well they could um, they could uh, while rising for you, but the point is um, if they guard they're probably they can do anything at that point. But the point is you can't when you're in stance you can't do anything anyways other than attack. So literally you're minus ten from um, their guard and your fastest move is a 10 so you're literally like minus 20 so you're pretty much up for grabs for anything if they guard you <coughs> but this is probably one of the best moves I will say to do if you're at the wall but of course um, you can you can probably go into this stuff instead you know because at this point you will you will crush their hive check this out at this point, you will crush almost any high if you hit them. See? No matter if I smash, I still get hit, right? If you do that one, you will crush any high at that point. And since Anna doesn't have any good, since Anna doesn't have any good mids, wait. Okay, and <laughs> this at the wall is great too. You have to have an 11 frame mid. I don't know if any character has an 11 frame mid, but if you have an 11 frame mid, you can break out of this. But check this out, right? Like, if you just do this, and if they don't have an 11 frame mid, they're dead. Because no matter what, they're gonna get hit. But like I always say, it's not avoid. It's not like the best move in the world. You can still avoid it. And plus, if they have a 10 frame move, they'll hit you. And if they have an 11 frame move, it'll look like this. See? This will be an 11 frame move. So yeah. So my point is... On this wall pressure, I will still consider this the best move at the wall. The reason why is... You get so much option. You literally trap them, right? If you hit them. Of course it's if you hit them. So this is what I say. You can go for these moves to set up the pressure right these move to set up the pressure but once you once you start getting their pressure going and they're just backing they're just backing up you have to open them up so the way to open them up at the wall is down four four one back down four four one back yes and then once you get them here obviously if they try to throw a punch let's say they just try to throw this punch you can't even hit them with this but of course it's gonna trade so 
after immediately I think after you do this she's gonna hit you you might be a little bit further so I'm not sure what you can do so let's try down for four three see if we can get that so let's just say um, from here I get hit okay and then I'm gonna try to throw one two yeah see it's guaranteed yeah see so that's still guaranteed right there at the wall if they try to throw a poke see so that's crazy right that's the kind of wall pressure you can get with Anna and of course it all starts off from your down four hitting your opponent and going into stance <clears throat> So of course you can go to this. If you just want to j if you just want to frame trap them for standing, just go to this, and then you're at plus five. You're at plus five because this is a guarantee hit. Of course it does like zero damage, but you're at plus five. So from pr plus five, you're basically at the same thing again. So basically you can just go like this, and it's basically another frame trap for another frame trap. Blah blah blah. Right. So they try to poke, they get hit. Well, okay, it's not plus five, it's like plus four. Though. Yeah, so it's plus four. So instead of that, then you should probably do, since it's plus four, you should do this. This, of course, I said. I meant, like, you should just down for one, two. Or down for one, and then reset the pressure. So, like this, bang, 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 reset the pressure. You probably go like this again. And then back into this, you probably can go like this again. So something like this right this would be kind of like a wall pressure so from here plus one plus one this is a 10 frame so it becomes a nine frame it traps your opponent if they don't guard if they guard you're safe so my point is if they guard you're safe so just go back so if if they guard just go just guard too I wouldn't recommend sidestepping, I'll show you why, because after this you, you're not in a position to sidestep, right? Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, see, you're not in a good position to sidestep. If you're Lily, then yeah. You know, you could probably sidestep this, but I don't even think Lily can sidestep minus like 9 anyways. I think she can only minus 5 sidestep. I don't know the minus on that move, but yeah. So yeah, so this is a good way to pressure down 4-1 back. Down 4-1 back. Into any option is very good. Even against Paul, this will kill Paul, okay? No matter how good Paul is, Paul's only option to stop this, if he gets hit on the low, is still um, standing 1-2. <clears throat> of course, I'm talking about this. And if you just do this... Paul can actually um, shoulder you. <laughs> Paul is that good though. This will uh, whiff and Paul will actually hit you. So you can't actually frame trap Paul. But you can go for this kick just to get Paul to be scared. I don't have Paul to practice with right now. So yeah, if you do this against, if you're against Paul at the wall, you're better off doing this three than any of these other options. All these options will whiff on Paul's uh, shoulder attack. So you you should just do this against Paul. The three option. Like I said, every character is different. And even Ling Xiao Yu is the same way. If you got Ling Xiao Yu, you're more than likely just to go down 3-3. I don't think this will hit. Um, it might hit AOP. I think it does hit OP. I think I tested the other day. <clears throat> but yeah, so if you go down 4-1, bang bang. Down 4-1 back, of course. Down for one back, you can go like this. If you're just playing any regular character against any other character, you probably can get away with doing this. I don't know too many characters that can do like Paul's shoulder move and stuff like that. A 12 frame mid that high crushes, yeah, I don't think a lot of people have that. Even Lily's down, uh, Lily's two, one plus two doesn't high crush, so. Of course, you can just literally do this. This is actually like you're at plus four into like another plus one so this is an easy way to do this too but like I said if you want to start off with this is great but normally I always set them up with this kind of stuff and then sidestep you can even go to like this stuff 
Like if you go from here, you know, you can do like that. But yeah. So yeah, doing down four one at the wall. I still love this move. <laughs> I don't care what people say because the truth is, if you got them, if you if you measure them up very well and they're just guarding because they're scared that they're gonna get frame trap, this will frame trap them. This will crush their duck. Um. Um. Your other options for sidestep is obviously, as I've said before, this will track to her left. This will track to her right. You know, you got all sorts of options. So, so if you got them, if you got them stalemate and they don't want to move, go for this. Go for this at the wall. Bang. And of course, if you messed up, you get. Uh, if you mess up the just input, you get a throw. <coughs> so yeah. But if you just smash it, you will get it. Normally, if you smash, you will get it. Yep. And that's pretty much it, guys. Of course, you see me do this. Uh, it's also good. Just the same way, like I said, from these moves that you do, standing one or sidestep, uh, standing one or down four one, where you get into a sidestep. Let me show you. <clears throat> this normally will like evade the poke. See? <clears throat> That's pretty good, but uh, my point is sometimes this other one might get hit. You might actually get hit from this. See? If they just single poke, yeah, it works. Or if they like try to magic for you, yeah, it works. If they try to magic for you. Sometimes, like I said, if you just do, um, if you just keep doing this, they can magic for you, right? So a good setup for that is, see, they can magic for you. So my point is, if they guard your attack, they can magic for you, right? If you constantly do that. So obviously, the way to avoid that is like this, or you know, like the one plus two, like I said. And um, yeah, so this works. Anna is a very stiff character, so she's one of those characters that if you're at like minus one, that's about the time that you can sidestep. I don't know if she can sidestep at minus two. I know that Nina can sidestep at si uh, minus three and Lily is like at five, right? So those characters can kind of get away with a lot more sidestepping. But usually with Anna, I would like to stay within the range of minus one sidestep. Not so much at minus three. Minus three, you could sidestep, but Anna is not the kind of character that is going to be really good at sidestepping. So sh if you're a minus three and you're trying to sidestep, you're probably going to get hit. She got away with that one, but... See? See? Told you. <clears throat> if they're a little late... Yeah. My point is, at minus three, Anna is um, a little too stiff as a character to sidewalk as a you know in the video game character. Okay, maybe that was in minus three. No, this is minus three, but Okay, that kind of works out pretty well actually. Anyways, this is not a tutorial about that, so <laughs> we'll go over that some other day. Okay guys, hopefully you guys like that. Um Basically, uh, wall pressure is like I said before. Let's just go over it. You want to do the pressure moves like 442. Those are the heavy um, pressure on block. That's when your opponent is blocking. The side step four uh, and side step three on block. Um, down 412 on block. From CGM on block. The stuff that you do want to do um, on block as well is standing one. Sight, uh, down 4 1 on block. These are all wall pressures. Um, down 4 4 wall pressure. If on, no, but down 4 4 is on hit. You have to understand, not on block. This is on hit. Down 4 1 back on hit. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. And of course, once you get this on hit, all the options from CGM are pressure move. No matter what it is, it's all pressure move. Even this low hit is pressure move. So, yeah. In short, that's the summary guys. So hopefully you guys like this. Hit that like button and subscribe. 
And if you guys got any more questions, you know, I go over more stuff. Like I said before, I'll uh, do more guides on stuff that you guys want to know. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys stay tuned for my next one. Thank you and see you next time.